It is always a celebration here in New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. carry now this is Alvin Kamara and he'll go down right at the 30 yard line four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage second down for well, the Vikings and Saints you might recall they battled in the wild card round a season ago and it was the guys in purple who came in and pulled off the upset with Kirk Cousins finding Kyle Rudolph in the end zone in overtime to sew up a 26 to 20 win and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. The Vikings head out to take over once again. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 20. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Ball carrier. He was brought down. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. On second down, Cook. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. A two -yard watching that play unfold play. and watching him complete it brought down. back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Cousins in step with Jefferson that time. First down, Vikings. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Draw play, Cousins to Cook. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A gain of a you know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Ball at the 33, second and nine. He's going to get this one down to Cook. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it third down. A five-yard pickup on the play, and it's third down. from the gun on third. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. 13 yards. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, 
One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And yeah, he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Complete to I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forcing the incompletion, that allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. two yards Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Cousins on target there to Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the Saints' 30-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Cousins now to throw on first down. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 20-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw, Cousins. Setting up the screen for Cook. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal. And they sent that play backwards. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Cousins able to connect with Adam Thielen. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done.
Dan Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defense the teams think they come in bunches. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Hill on first down. Smith, the intended receiver, and it's second down. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. You can't be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? On third down, here's Camara. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Alvin Kamara hit the NFL with a bang, had double-digit touchdowns in his first two seasons. Now, production fell off a little bit last year. Just six times did he find the end zone, but his ability to run it and catch it out of the backfield makes it hard to cover. Look for a bounce-back season in 2020. He was brought down by Eric Wilson. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for Hill. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 19. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Hill now operating from the red zone. Turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From the gun, here's Hill. Stepping up, he'll try and run. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. Throwing on third down, Hill. 
Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And Lutz puts this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? turn as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And not much there. Maybe a yard to the 24. That was a really nice play to be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Off the play fake, Cousins. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. The Vikings on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Says me that our friend old momentum. <laughs> I think he's definitely changed teams in this game. It's only going to grow after that sack, and now heck, they can get the ball back here and possibly even get the lead. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. The All-Pro Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Saints will take over with a first down and ten. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second and two at the 47-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First well, Barton, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. Credit the tackle to Jalen Holmes. He was tackled at the 46-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Hey. 
following the pickup of four. Here's second and six. Out of the gun. Hill. Looking down, and it's incomplete. The pro bowler, Michael Thomas, was the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, Hill, he may try and run for this. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run. This is Kamara. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. On second and nine, Hill. That'll be complete to Cook. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They run it for the first time with a backup murder. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They stay on the ground. This time, it's Kamara. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. From the nine, second and five. Operating from the gun. Hill rolling to his left. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A nine-yard touchdown run. Saints have taken the lead. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7. the 25 to the 26 yard line and now out comes minnesota and they're coming off a three and out my friend i think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving okay so how do you do that how do you shake things up you look at what you've called before <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and get something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field. 
for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Cook. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. The Viking ball carry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. From the 47, it's second and five. To throw his Cousins. To Jefferson on the slant. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 36. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Minnesota. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing Cousins over the middle here to Rudolph. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first and 10, Cousins. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll run with Cook. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They try again with Cook. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who and Rudolph has got it. The big tight end for a Viking touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Vikings are going to retake the lead. Extra point try by Bailey. And that makes it 14-10. Makes the score Vikings 14, Saints 10. Kick it away after the touchdown. And this will make it into the end zone. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. At their own 25-yard line. Down. 
Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second down. Second. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. The Saints are the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. Now the second down throw on target. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. For a Saints. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Hill looking to throw on first. This throw is going to be incomplete. Hill's pass intended for Traquan Smith. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw again, Hill. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. The Saints gonna call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. play on the completion got him half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five to the air again Hill flushed out right and they'll get him down about three yards short of the first he opted to go with a scramble gets two yards and now it's fourth he certainly had plenty of success running the ball and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Osborne. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now, penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. We're working out of the gun, Cousins. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Out of bounds at the 17-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. So from the 17, here's second and seven. From the gun, here's Cousins. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. They go play action, Cousins. 
Saints pressure gets it. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan so tough to block as he gets in there to record the sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Cousins. Johnson with a completion over the middle. Cousins. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Third down, Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? Colquitt on to kick as he sends it away. No return on this one is a fair catch. A signal four and take it. And they call it 38 yards on the punt. No return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They start the drive on the ground. Camaro. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, Hill. Pitch and catch here to Cook. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards is the pickup, first down New Orleans. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Three yards the gain there, second down. Second and seven at the Vikings 49-yard line. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Operating from the gun. Hill. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. the pick up there brings up second and three at the 33 yard line able to get seven on that first down pass play second and three and again it's hill and the catch made this is emmanuel sanders and he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And this hasn't been the typical game, no doubt, for Emmanuel Sanders. They've really limited him. He's one of those players that provides a real spark when he gets going. And when he does it, it's felt by the rest of the team, and they're feeling it in this one because right now they're trailing. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Throwing again is Hill. Bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hill throwing once more. Out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Good coverage downfield led to him taking him on, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. His Pro Bowl tight end was the target. That'll bring up second down. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Hill. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So they still get the completion, even though the blitz was on. But the blitz got there. Does that stay in the mind of the quarterback the next couple plays? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're planning for. It's a little risk reward, right? You're leaving your guys on an island back there in man coverage. But you take the chance that you get to the quarterback. And so he gets completion here. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taysom Hill, his second touchdown of the night. And the Saints have retaken the lead. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Lux with the extra point, and it's now This drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Going on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Dalvin Cook is running back, the intended target. But it'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 
Cousins to throw it. And Rudolph has it to tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. On the ground, it's Cook. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And it's pretty evident when you watch how Minnesota plays, just how important Dalvin Cook is to their offense. A 1,000-yard rusher a year before, the first one the Vikings had since Adrian Peterson was dominating their carries. And having Cook in the lineup for the bulk of the season, that made Minnesota exactly what their head coach Mike Zimmer wanted them to be, a much more physical team that complemented their defense. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player... Disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. On play action, Cousins. And that is incomplete. Absolutely zero surprise that that one was incomplete. Huh? I mean, it was truthful. How many OCs have we seen? But third and 20 on their play, she'd go, oh, I've got the exact play to dial up. No, that's just a, a head scratching down when you're facing a third and 20. Tried to complete it, couldn't get it done. There's Britton Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. will switch hands first and ten the New Orleans offense set to take over and that last drive was very very balanced pretty methodical you think they go that route again I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something I'm going to continue and I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do but the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays looks like a run turn into a play action and throw one deep and he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. The 34-yard line. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Again, it's Kamara. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. on the carry. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the gun on third, Hill. And he finds Cole. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. First and 10. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. But it's going to be second down. Second down and 10. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans. Rolling along here in the third quarter. Second and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw. 
And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. Nine yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third down, Hill. That'll be complete to Cook. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun. Hill. He throws and he hits the slant route right to Thomas. Touchdown. No runs. Michael Thomas. 38 yards. And the Saints now have six to their lead circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion well, let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive away what's good on the extra point and his guys will take a 10-point lead Minnesota. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 14. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Cousins now. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Number 41. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, it's hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right there. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A busy night continues for Camara. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. The, eight yard the recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. They run it again with Camara. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Now Hill. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. But it'll be second and goal. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taysom Hill scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. There's three touchdowns. It's got him in the lead. the 26 yard line just across the 25. The Vikings offense now they get ready to head back on the field and following the interception we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now he always used to tell us before every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win but they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches that's all they talk about turnovers right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Three yards the gain there, second down. Dalvin Cook. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 29-yard line. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, Cousins. The throw complete to BB. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. The Vikings on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. From the gun, here's Cousins. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Running with Camara. Now he'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Number 41, Alvin Camara, the ball carrier. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 21 yard line. <laughs> to throw on second and six. Hill, he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. And 
six yards. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. The Saints on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This will be third and six. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. And they read zone coverage there and thought there was some space to send their guy right into the middle on a slant, hoping he would get lost. Instead, they read it quite well and closed quickly. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first, this one from 38. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see though, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rope. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. After the sack on first down, Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Third and long for Cousins. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Cousins finding the rookie Jefferson for a Viking first down. And a Viking That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, and they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Now he dumps this off over the middle. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and a yard at the 43-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Cousins again. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he'll be flag will come with it and that's in the area of a face mask I think so the penalty yards marched off on the face mask here's first and ten Cousins now to throw on first down he gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say 
he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. And this is caught at the eight. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. First and goal. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cousins gives way to Cook. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. They'll run for it with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Delvin Cook taking it in. And the Vikings are able to close the gap just a bit. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. And it's up and good. Makes the score Saints 34, Vikings 21. Kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, Deontay Harris. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Alvin Kamara, the ball Yeah, that wasn't a big run. Just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Here's second and nine. A shotgun snap for Hill. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and five. From the gun on third down, Hill. Sensing the momentum, maybe changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New Orleans. Four-yard punt, return of nine. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten, just shy of the 30. 
From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And Cook has it, left side. I'll call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make this a second down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. It's third down. Third and 12. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. To throw, Cousins. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. A first down for Minnesota. Cousins finding Thielen. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. First down, Minnesota. First down now, but that clock rolling. First down, here's Cousins. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and now it's second down. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and ten. They'll throw again. Cousins to Jefferson on the slant. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 27-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Vikings first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. On first and 10, Cousins. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Looking to throw again on second down. Cousins. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To the air again, it's Cousins. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and that'll bring up second down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and that'll make it third down. Marshawn Lattimore there defensively.
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, it's Cousins. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Ah, oh, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski was an interception. Different teams. different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be it's a too many word. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Osborne elects not to return it. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. He's going to let it fly. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. DJ Williams with a pick, and that will write a finish to this ball game. Final score is St. Charles. It's one thing to win; it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Where were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.